Now, some of you have been asking when I was going to do another headphone review. Well, here we are. Another headphone review. I hope you're happy. I kind of am because I now have another pair of headphones that I can wildly recommend to you. And I'll tell you what they are. Wait a minute. You probably already know. You saw the title. Well, anyway, I'll show you what they are right after this. This, this is, uh, you know you listen to, to Travis. What up, players? Welcome back. And for all you new people, welcome. My name's Travis and I do tech videos every single week and have a blast doing them. If that sounds like fun to you, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Anything I talk about will be in the description below. But for now, let's just get into the video. Most of you know that I built this channel on like, really, like headphone reviews. I've done a lot of headphone reviews and they've gotten a lot of views and people have subscribed to the channel based on those headphone reviews. So when I started doing more phone related stuff, some people got confused, some left. But the ones of you that have stayed have been asking, when are you gonna do more headphone reviews? So while I don't know what the future holds, I will tell you that I specifically am doing these headphones, not just because you asked, but because I think they're really good. Now let's start from the beginning. These headphones, the Taltronics BH-046s, which by the way is a terrible name. I've talked about the names of these things before. They need to just come out with an actual name rather than letters and numbers. Who's gonna remember that? So to be completely transparent, these were actually sent to me for a sponsorship, but not of this video. A couple videos ago, I did a video that was sponsored by Taltronics and they sent these along. And uh, I mean, listen, here's the thing. I got them, I wasn't sure they were gonna be any good. So I put them in that video like I was supposed to do and then I kind of forgot about them. But then something interesting happened. I actually listened to them and was really happy with what these things are. Now, to be perfectly clear, that sponsorship deal is over. This video is not sponsored and Taltronics doesn't even know I'm doing this video. So don't worry about this being some type of commercial that's, you know, sponsored and I'm not telling you, this video is not sponsored. I got these from a sponsorship was never asked to do a review on them, but I'm doing one because they're good. So let's start off with a couple of specs. Um, 30 hours of battery life. If you need two hours of quick charge, all you gotta do is plug it in for five minutes and 45 minutes charges it all the way. I love the quick charge on these things nowadays because 30 hours is actually really solid. But um, I mean, let's say you forget about charging it for a couple days, just plug it in for a couple minutes and you're off to the races again. They have a rotating ear cup style, which is good for putting it away. And like Edifier, they give you a really nice case. I think it's hilarious when a company like Sony will sell you multi hundred dollar headphones with no case. And for under a hundred dollars, you get a really nice case from Taltronics along with some extra cables and everything. This thing's great. It's actually uh, nicely sized, not too big, and it will protect your headphones. Obviously you don't want to sit on this thing, but this is great for traveling. It'll work just fine. From the moment I put them on, and how incredibly soft the ear cups are because they're super thick and super, super squishy. The top part on my head, they're light. They just, they isolate the outside world so well. And that's before you turn on the noise canceling or anything like that. This is just the fit and feel with no power on. They're great. This alone, the the feel on them, the, the, the lightness have put them high in my, my rankings of my personal headphones. Now on the bottom, you have your 3.5 millimeter jack, your volume up and down, your power, and of course your noise canceling option on and off. And uh, that's the thing that concerned me about these when they first were sent to me, because if you've watched any of the reviews I've done, noise canceling on under $100 headphones has been pretty bad. For those of you who don't know, what tends to happen is when you turn on noise canceling on under $100 headphones, a lot of times it just destroys music. Like it takes the low end out, the mid just kind of, kind of just waddles around and the highs, depending on the headphone, either go away or they're just, you know, about the same. But for the most part, when you're in the 80, 90, or I would say even 70 and below, you can forget about turning noise canceling on and getting anything out of it. Which is why I've always said, if you're under this kind of price range, you get the edifiers for non noise canceling headphones and for noise canceling headphones for decent price, you get the Anchor Space Core NCs, which were my travel headphones all the way up until these. The Space Core NCs are $100. They work fantastic and I've used them on flights and the noise canceling does cancel out a large portion of the, uh, the airplane noise, you know, the actual engine. So that was gonna be my bar coming into these. I will say this, from the time I actually played the first song on these things, I can tell you right away, it sounded better than the Space Core NCs. And thankfully, turning on noise cancellation didn't change that in a negative way at all. 
I would even say that it kind of made it a little bit better. Now, sometimes you get that with a couple of the, um, a couple of the headphones out there, but for the most part, turning noise cancellation usually makes it worse. Here's one other interesting thing about noise cancellation. Despite being less expensive than the Space Core NCs, the noise canceling works better on these. The way I test this is I go into my bathroom and I turn on the fan in my bathroom. There's one that's kind of up in the ceiling and it has a roar very similar to what you'll hear in a jet. Um, and then I turn on noise canceling and see how much it uh, takes that sound away. And the Space Core NCs did a pretty decent job. Right now, the Sonys and the Bose have done the absolute best, but this did a better job than the Anker Space NCs. And here's the other thing. Even though the battery life may be a little bit less than what uh, you can get out of the Space NCs, one thing I will tell you that I liked more on these was the bass. Y'all know I'm a bass head. Let me real quick listen to some music. Now, I've played songs from like Eminem and such before, but this time I'm gonna do a little Red Man, 1990 now. He's got a little bit of bass in this, but it's just a funky song, so I'm gonna get it. Here we go, Red Man. Let's go. Get like whoop, but I get the poop, poop, pop. Now, one thing this thing does is really amplify the bass. I love that. If you like bass headphones, these are pretty good. Now, they're not of the kind of ilk of the Sony 950s or the Skull Crushers or anything like that. But for noise canceling headphones, the bass is legit on these. Now, having said that, the mids and the highs are a little bit muddy, but just the overall sound is still really good on these. So in the overall scheme of things, the edifiers might be better in the highs and mids, but these are much better in the bass. And again, the noise canceling ability of these headphones is amazing. Let me just say this, for the price, I am now at a weird crossroads. For about six months, I've been telling everyone, if you're spending under $100, period, end of story, get the edifiers. They're not noise canceling, but you get so much value out of them. It doesn't really matter. With like 80 to 90 hours of battery life and just a really great build of headphones, it was just a no brainer. But now with these, listen, these things come in under $100. I've seen them as low as 70. And at that price point, man, you need to pick these up. Now, let me just clarify this one more time. These are noise canceling headphones. You can turn noise canceling on and off. And the, the edifiers are not. And while it's not a fair comparison to go just between noise canceling and unnoise canceling, the price range is exactly the same. And I know you're gonna ask which one to buy. Based on value, based on the fact that you might need noise cancellation, if you like bass, it's these. If you don't really care about bass and you want really long battery life, it's the edifiers. And as far as the space NCs go, they're third place. You don't even have to just take my word for it. My boy, Jeff from El Jefe Reviews just did a smackdown between this and the Space Core NCs, the, uh, the Space NCs. You can check it out on his channel. I'll link it below or somewhere um, and just see what he has to say when he puts these up against the Space NCs. But I really want to encourage you, if you're looking for headphones under $100, if you're looking for noise cancellation, this is it. Period. End of story. You don't have to ask me anymore. These are the headphones. If you're just looking for normal headphones that don't necessarily have noise cancellation, it's either the edifiers or these. Then you should probably just get these. If you're into bass, you like it in your face, let me tell you something, Taltronics got it for you. If this video helped you out in any way, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. And if it didn't, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. I'm here every single week having a blast. Hope to see you again real soon. Peace and love, peace and love. Let me put those headphones.